Hey guys, I go by the name of Illuminous Eyes. I'm here to illuminate the motherfucking wise, okay? Today I have a really quick read, next 48, for Leo. Alright, so you guys don't usually see me pick up my spliff in videos. This video, I will be doing that. Don't judge me. Judge your mama. Moving on. Alright? Um, Leo, <laughs> as I get an omen. Uh, Leo, I have something really important to say to you. I feel like you need to be cautious or you need to be... Um, on guard because I feel like someone's trying to give you bad advice or they're saying something to you that is totally absurd they're wrong they're not right for saying it I'm also getting that like someone is trying to be cautious on showing you their real self I'm also getting like they don't want to reveal their self that's why they don't go around you or they don't want to be around you because of that but I also get that like if they are trying to say something to you whatever they're saying to you don't even take that advice dismiss it let it go in one ear and out the other because I'm getting like like, um, their strategy is to confuse you or to f fuck with your feelings or fuck with your heart. I feel like someone's trying to fuck, fuck with your kindness, Leo. Fuck that. We ain't got time for that shit. All right. I'm also getting that there's no more time to rest. I'm getting that you have now rested as much as you can. It's time to get up and get moving, get going. I'm getting like you said, you're, you're thinking about traveling, but I'm getting like you need to travel to somewhere where that it can, uh, it's either to your loved ones or you need to not bring these people with you. Like, I feel like if you're trying to plan a trip, make sure you only do it maybe with one or two people, because if you're trying to do it with several people, I'm getting like, you're not going to like this trip. Or it's going to be major delays with these people that's going to cause hiccups and bumps in the road to along your travel. I'm also getting, Leo, if you think that it's not best to return back to someone or somewhere, don't. Don't. You don't have to go back. You don't even got to talk to nobody if you don't want to. I'm also getting, keep your business to your fucking self, Leo. Especially away from this other fire sign or this air sign. Because I guess someone is trying to trick you by putting you under guilt I hear when I move you move just like that I'm getting like someone is trying to coerce you into doing what they're doing nah fuck that can I get a card at the top for Leo moving on I don't know why since yesterday I've been trying to do readings and my readings are coming out so aggressive like they're very aggressive so excuse me if I'm coming off aggressive I don't know why now I'm getting that this is coming from a family member or someone that you consider family I'm also getting that you're gonna stop talking to a family member or this is how someone feels Like I said, in regards to advice, I'm getting like, do not take the advice. Also, I'm getting like, it's time for you to move. It's time for you to relocate. Move away from your family or something like that. Take your children or it's like, I feel like you need to move your children somewhere else. Can you clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please, for Leo? I'm also seeing that like because I, I like whatever you went through Leo especially if, if this is like an argument or I feel like something is over whatever has happened has happened it's done I don't know why I'm hearing that I'm hearing family ties So maybe you maybe you're not tied down to a to a certain family member or to a certain obligation amongst family. I'm getting like um, maybe someone told you something and, and or you learned something that now it's like now that you know something you can act accordingly to what you know or what you've seen. Can you explain? the ten of pentacles please why is the ten of pentacles i also feel like there's a leo that picked a specific apartment or house or that is well beyond their um income like i feel like you got yourself into something that you can't afford and i'm getting that you don't really have family members or you don't really have anyone that can help you this could be a apartment or a car I'm also getting like, um, 
I feel like there's a male that doesn't feel like you're fit for children, fit to have children, or they they don't they don't want to talk about having kids with you. Moving on. Can I get a card, please, for the Ten of Pentacles? Why is this here? For the Ten of Pentacles for Leo? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse for Leo? Mm -hmm. I'm getting also like you, I'm getting like you, the relationship that you've been in for the, either the last three or ten years, whether this is pl pl platonic or, or not, I'm getting like, um, What's, what's understood don't have to be explained. I'm getting like, you don't have to explain yourself or why, why, or this, or this person doesn't want to explain themselves or why they, why they don't want to stick around or, or be a part of your life anymore. So I'm getting that this is a family member. By the two of cups, this could be a relationship, but I, I feel like someone is going out their way. It could be a cancer as well, but I feel like someone is going out their way to resist you to, or, or, or to tame their feelings. Because I'm getting like someone is holding on to something deep inside them that they want to get off their chest. But I, I'm getting like they're not going to though. Now, like I said, you guys could be dealing with a, a air sign, a fire sign, a water sign, or an earth sign. But I'm also getting like... um. I heard it's a cheat to my journey or someone is trying to cheat you out of money. I feel like someone is trying to take something from you. So if I hear you can't uh, cheat my journey, then that means you can't cheat karma. So I'm getting someone got karma coming to them. But I'm getting Leo, you're heavily protected. You don't gotta say a motherfucking thing to nobody. I'm also feeling like, um, it could be your mother that's giving you bad advice or it's your mother that holds on to some type of like um chaos within them like i feel like it's your mother that's making the the family chaotic others of you you're just dealing with a fucking a person that is literally like selfish or they're just like they're not I feel like this person shouldn't be on your journey because they will destroy who you are, Leo. You're here to love people, King of Cups. You're here to bring strength amongst people by bringing them back together. This is the strength card, Two of Cups. But I'm getting that you have someone in your in your vicinity, in your energy that's like talking in your ear and giving you all types of bad thoughts or bad advice like i feel like it would be your destiny to to move from this person leave this person in the past or leave them behind i'm getting that you hold on way too much love for this person this is why you haven't left yet i'm getting like th something here is a one-way street and you can't get a word in even if you tried leo Moving on. Can I get a card, please, for the Nine of Wands? Why is the Nine of Wands here, please, for Leo? Why is the Nine of Wands here, please, for Leo? I feel like your background is extremely loud and you got, like, a lot of shit. I feel like you got your neighborhood. Like I said earlier, you need to move from your neighborhood. It's a distracting environment. But I definitely don't live beyond your means, okay? Because I see you doing something um, in excess, Leo. Talking in excess or spending in, in excess. 
I also see like you're you, you're you're moving around too much, or someone is trying to take action that you need to be cautious about. Like I said, that's that advice. That's that well, whoever. That's that air sign, earth sign, fire sign. That's saying something to you that you really don't need to deal with, or don't believe them, or just just leave that shit alone. I'm also getting it's time to quit smoking, Leo. I'm getting it's affecting your lungs or slowing your pace down. I'm also getting that something is hereditary in your family, starting with the elder. You've been told this already, or I'm telling you now. You have something that comes her hereditary through your family. So if you are like doing something that requires you that uh, uh, with your body or you smoking, I'm, I'm getting that like you need to either start uh, nurturing your body more or you need to quit fucking smoking. I'm also getting that like really, really read. Someone is sending you a text message. I'm getting like you should go back at that text message and reread it or, or or pay attention to the text message, okay? I don't know. That's really random, but that's what I got to say for that. Can I get a card, please, for the Four of Swords? Why is the Four of Swords here like this in reverse for Leo? I'm also getting that someone is going to tell you they're unhappy that something didn't work out. Or I'm getting that someone's going to bring you news that... um. Um, something like I said, like I just keep saying, like whatever they're saying to you is, is not making you happy. I feel like it kind of makes you emotional. But with the wheel of fortune, I'm getting that you're gonna be able to move on from this. Okay, I get, I, I'm getting that. Like, like I said, once you reject, reject something, ignore something, don't take this advice or don't take whatever this person's trying to give you. I'm getting like, I'm also hearing, shut up, don't speak, don't talk, don't move. I'm also, I'm also hearing don't pass go, don't collect $200. So I'm getting like, once you don't move, how can I say this? If you're not taking someone too seriously or it, I'm, I'm getting like, um, once you realize someone is not on your path or in your direction, I'm getting like, once you move on from this, it's a better decision or it's a better, it's a better path in your journey. Okay. It's a, it's a better path in your journey because I feel like someone is manipulative or they're a liar, cheater, deceiver. Like I said, they would do anything to like uh, sabotage you. This could be a family member. But by the two of cups showing up earlier, it could be a friend. They got heavily emphasis on a woman here. So this is like someone that's not younger. I'm going to say this is someone that's about 30 and up. I'm getting that. Um, now, an a air sign or... Um, a fire sign could have given you advice about this person. Or I feel like, Leo, you see something that you don't like, so you're not going to deal with it. Or the best idea or the best solution for you to be is to walk away, drop it, walk away from it. Because I'm getting like, you can't even know how much you love this person or how much you care about this person. They will always combat you, fight you, or go out their way to make shit difficult. Especially with the five of wands. Like I said, that's the I can't get a word in. That the 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 king of cups says I'm gonna do what I want. Give I don't give a fuck about what you got to say. Type shit. Okay, Leo. Is there anything else that I should be saying to Leo? Anything else that I should be saying to Leo? Can you give me a card, please, for the four of uh, swords in reverse? Can you give me a card for the four swords in reverse? Yeah. I'm also getting that before you go off and send a text message or um, reach out to someone, go to someone. I'm getting like you really think this through. Is it worth it, Leo? Is it worth it to, to, to reach out to this person? Because like I said, someone doesn't think like you, Leo. <laughs> I heard they ain't you. I'm getting that someone wouldn't even, they're so uh, selfish that they couldn't even put the time in to even talk to you or, or, or this is you. I really, this don't look like you, but you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm getting like, you have all access to move on. I'm hearing, I'm hearing like the, you know, when you hear a elevator's door open and goes bing, I'm, I feel like you can get on the elevator to, to, to move on. And now I'm hearing, um. Stairways to heaven. What the fuck? 
step by step i'm getting you can take the steps that you need to keep moving i'm getting you're an angel leo this is so random like what you're an angel or you have angel qualities but this person doesn't although the devil didn't show up i'm getting like whatever you're working on or whatever you're thinking about I'm getting, especially in regards to making a decision to ghosting someone, blocking someone, do it. That would be the smartest I fucking dare. Like I said, especially if it's like a friend, a Virgo, a Cancer, a fire sign. I do see um, Pisces here. I'm getting like, you've given all you could have given to this person. I'm hearing chapter close. Eight of cups in reverse for me is like, um, if it was in the upright, it would be like, I'll be back later. Or I, 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 the, you know, the journey's not over. Eight of cups in reverse for me, the journey is over. Something has been a 10 year or, or eight year, anywhere between four and 10 years run. And it's now over. I'm getting that you feel this intuitively. You could be getting dreams that like, you know, Chapter done. Yeah. Moving the fuck on. Can I get a card please for Leo at the top? Why is the nine of wands here for Leo? Why is the nine of wands here for Leo please? Why is the nine of wands here for Leo? Pain. So some of you guys could be dealing with menstrual pain. I'm getting that you've been in like you've been in pain for like this last several days. I'm also getting that someone is really hurting your feelings by whatever they're saying. Or I'm getting like how someone thinks is like totally completely off. I'm overall deck done. I'm getting that's why you're done or that's why you're not speaking to them or this is what they're saying. You're causing me too much pain. You've hurt me. I'm, I'm you're fucking with my emotional stability. I'm done. Moving on. Can I can I get a card please? Yeah, I'm also getting that there's a fire sign. I'm getting like they don't want you to see that them in pain or they don't want you to they don't want to they're really holding back something here. I feel like someone is thinking about texting you, but like I feel like the text messages are coming through flooding, like, and I I, I feel like I feel like um these are hurtful exchanges of words. Moving on, I feel like someone is hiding their pain. I feel like someone is doing something to numb their self and I, and I feel like they don't want you to see it or this is you Leo. You don't want people to see how when you're hurt or when you're in pain. So you hide that part of you and you try to act all like Bleh! like you know like shit's all cool and okay but but I feel like deep down you're in pain. I'm getting that you need to say that cuz it's fucking with your sleep or something like that. Moving on. Can I get a card, please, for Leo, for the Four of Swords, Eight of Wands? Everything is okay. So maybe you're you're thinking about reaching out to someone and telling them, like, you know, I'm good, you good? Or this is how they feel about you. Moving on. Can I get a card, please, for the Ten of Pentacles? Can I get a card, please, for the Ten of Pentacles for Leo? Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Act like a lady. Hmm. So I'm getting that you have an elder in your family telling you to act like a lady. I'm getting that they're looking at you thinking that, you know, you're a little um, skanky a little bit. Because I'm getting that someone's walking around their elders with their breasts all out or your clothes are very inappropriate to be around this particular family. So this is what people are talking about around you. This could be one of one of the reasons why you're in your feelings right now because your your uh, image to others. Like I said, someone doesn't want something to be seen, so they're going out of their way to hide or act different. For your business, that 
Moving on. Can I get a card, please, for Leo? Can I get a card, please, for Leo? Why is pain here for Leo? You guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius, a fellow Leo, or an Aries. You guys could be dealing with any fixed zodiac. Or you guys could be dealing with an air sign, such as Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, any earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. I heavily see Cancer and Pisces here. Can I get one card, please, for Leo? What is the best advice to give to Leo? What's the best advice to give to Leo for the next couple of days? Best advice. It says, fuck fear, Leo. Like I said, you're dealing with... I feel like you're I feel like you're fighting against yourself. It's like me against the world. Anyway, let's move on. It says, fuck fear. It will it will lie to your face. So I'm definitely... I definitely feel like if you got something to say, Leo, don't hide how you feel. Even if it hurts someone to say that shit, put on your fucking big ass fucking big girl panties and speak your motherfucking mind regardless how other people see you regardless how other people may make you feel like i feel like say that shit with your chest moving on can i get a card for the everything is okay please why is everything okay especially if you're dealing with a fire sign okay I, I, i'm hearing um fear god not them i'm getting they have they, they can't pump no fear into your heart they can't pump shit into you. They're not God. You say what you got to say, Leo. Moving on. Can I get a card, please, for Leo? Can I get one card, please, for Leo? It says shame, regret, and guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive, let go. Forgive and let that shit go. So I'm getting that there's an air sign thinking about asking you for forgiveness. I'm getting like, or you you need to give this air sign forgiveness. I'm getting like, um, whatever you guys got into or whatever happened between you guys, I'm getting like it was bullshit. Or you feel regretful for something that you've done with an air sign. You could have slept with this person and now you can't get this person off of your mind. Or you don't like the actions that were taking place between you and another air sign. And I'm getting that you feel guilty, you feel regretful. But I'm getting like just let that shit go ask, ask yourself for forgiveness okay like I said fear God not them the card is pink so you guys could be dealing with an air sign like I said earlier or earth sign okay can I get one last card please for Leo one last card please for Leo one last card please for Leo why is the act like a lady here act like a lady why is the act like a lady here Okay, the card is blue, so we back on air or earth. It says, put the fucking phone down, Leo. I can make you put your phone down. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can make you put your phone down. Mm -hmm. Moving on. It says, too much screen time. It's making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. So for those of you that do watch tarot, I'm getting like you need to like give tarot a, a rest. I'm also getting that like um, you're t like... That's what I was saying earlier. Keep your business to yourself. I'm getting that someone is giving you too much bad advice. I'm getting like you don't need to reach out to other people. You need to go within. Take your own fucking advice. Stop listening to fucking other people. Stop watching fucking YouTube or whatever the fuck. I'm also getting that like the music that you're choosing to listen to is affecting your emotion stability. I feel like you should listen to something more uplifting. Okay. I'm also getting that the phone is affecting your eyes or this phone bill is extremely expensive. Don't live outside your means, Leo. I already told you that. I'm getting that you're way too giving. You're way too, you give a fuck too much. I'm, I keep hearing this stupid ass Big Sean song in my head for like the last three days. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about you or anything you do. Anyway, moving on, Leo. Peace and prosperity to those that need that shit. See you again.